Ayayay. After 1000 years, I finally decided to make an EV tutorial. Yay. <coughs> and by the way, today is my birthday. So that's maybe why I decided to do this. <laughs> so, welcome and let's do this. Let's do I this. Spend my credits. So, <coughs> Uh, the Bustle Land, or legendary card for old school riders, is definitely Wormhole. Wormhole is the best for competitive playing and tournaments and if you want to try hard. These two others are just for fun. It's You can pick it like in casuals, it's just for fun. <coughs> so, loadout. Uh, teleport, flicker, and sweet witch is the most important are most important free cards that you need to have it <coughs> in loadout in wormhole. These are the most important. On playing teleport on level five, flicker on level five, and then on level three, sweet witch, because the sword is too slow, so you need need to increase the speed of it. Also. Same with range on blink, and this this one is really useful. The heal, especially with wormhole, because you will heal after you go back also. So that's really nice. And these two are these last two cards are not that important. This one can trip is really useful. It gives you ammo when you activate sword. <coughs> So I would recommend it this, and the last one is up to you, it's not that important. If you want to play a snow globe or a sword, then you need to have this killing frost on level 5, or level 4, and then impact on level 2, to get 100% uh, Red, uh, reduce of cooldown of sword, reduce the cooldown of sword. <coughs> so then if you kill someone, you can sword again and kill someone or go back or something. And that's, and that's the problem why like stone globe or sword is not playable, like in competitive. Because problem is that you need to kill someone to get reset uh, of that sword and you can go back then but if you don't kill you are dead that's the problem with wormhole you can just blink back so it's it's like easier easier to play <coughs> so load out like this you can like it's whatever you can have a different one if you want i just have this so that's kind of up to you what what do you have there just you need to that this one and then also swift witch because you need to have the sword on max speed or as much fast as possible you need to have you need to be with sword yeah <coughs> okay okay so one more now abilities so you have blink, that's this, then you can teleport whenever you want and blink back, that's the wormhole talent. <coughs> then you have saw, so you can fly, like this. And then you have ice block, so you are immune to 3 seconds. And you can cancel it by pressing right click again, if you don't know. <coughs> so, what you need to learn is this combo. This is really useful. Like playing, shoot, sword, shoot and bring back. Like this. That's like the like the best combo I'm using. So if you learn this as much as fast as possible, then it's really nice. I don't know, you can train it like this in shooting range, but I never did this so I don't know if it's worth it. But you, you can try it, like I don't know. 
And also, I'm like when I am going to blink, so I will also shoot first, so you can kill the target like this. But this happen like only uh, sometimes because the, the target is also moving, so it's hard to it's hard to hit like this first shot. But if you do this, you will kill every DPS like this. So that's really nice. So you, you can try to learn this like this. So that's how you like use the blink and so on pretty much. Or maybe you can try it there on P because they are they are moving at least. And that's also how you need to aim. You can't aim on them because it's projectile, if it's projectile, so you can't aim to on them, but you need to aim in front, in front of them, like this, to predict their movements. So if they are going left, you need to like this, shoot them like this, not on them, that's like this. like this probably but anyway you need to go into the real game and like train it anyway because this is not this is not enough I think <laughs> so yeah now let's go for items so what to buy on Eevee first of all cauterize Always cauterize is the most important. If they have like only genos, then you can have only cauterize level two. But if they have like any other healer, Grover, Furia, like this, you need to cauterize on level three. And also you need to look uh, in your load in their loadouts. Because they, they can have self heals and life steals and stuff, so e even if they have genos, you need to go as free sometimes. <coughs> and maybe rarely, only really rarely, Wrecker. If they have like Torvald or Triple Tank or something, then you can buy Wrecker. But it's only sometimes. So these two. Uh, then, after Cauterize some defense like heaven or blast shields depends on that comp on their team they have Leon, Cassie, Victor hit scans like this then haven if they have PK Trocos Pillow or like this then you need to go blast shield and resilience if they have like a lot of stuns then you also need resilience. It's really helpful. Also, you you have like ice block that you can like block, or if you get crippled, you can ice block and you are fine. But still, you don't have ice block every time for everything. So resilience is useful. Or if they have like sky and Strix or Shalin, you can also buy illuminate. <coughs> After this you will buy Rejuvenate. Rejuvenate is the best with, with Genos. Because Genos don't have like a lot of heals. So you need Rejuvenate. And that's all. That's pretty much all. And if you if you have all of this, then you can buy Chronos. But it's like only if you have everything this is not needed Chronos or master riding these are useful <coughs> so yeah that's from items and now I will show you how I use um, ice block most of the time if like someone is shooting me and I am low or something 
that I will just block only only one shot. Shooting me, I will play like this and then blink back, blink away. <coughs> because if you like stay in ice block, then you can't really survive because everyone will will wait after your ice block will end, and then you will die. It's impossible to survive if there is uh, nearby like two or three enemies, so you will always die. Or uh, you can use ice block like this when you are fighting and you are out of cooldowns. Then you will wait to your blink and then you try to escape like this. If you are out of cooldowns, so you will you will wait for your blink and then you you will try to blink away. So that's how you can also use ice block. <coughs> you can also like tip is you can also ice block when Inara cri cripples you. So you can't use any any skills, any any movement abilities. But if you use ice block, then you can escape with blink. If Inara cripples you, that's like real, really useful. So yeah, that's how you use ice block. Another thing, who to ult with EV? Who is the best target? Uh, champion. Uh, the best target to ult is because your ult slows and gives enemy cripple. That's the most important cripple. So everyone who has some kind of ability to escape, that's the best way to ult. So you can ult like Io, Andro, Io, Andro, Ash. Like not not really tanks, but the best like from tanks to ult is Beric because Beric has dash, and when he when he dash he has shield also, so it's kind of hard to kill him. But if you use ult on him, then he can't escape and you can easily kill him. So Beric is the like best to ult from tanks. Otherwise, it's kind of useless because they have lots of HP so they will probably survive anyway so you can ult basically everyone but not for example BK because he has Poppy so if you cripple him if you ult him and he has cripple he can still escape so don't ult BK also don't ult Dredge that's the same way with BK, he has like teleport and he can teleport even when he is in cripple. You can ult Drogos, you can ult every every support <coughs> so they can't escape. Uh, you also don't have to ult Vivian. Vivian or Inara because they don't have any or Torvald they don't have any movement ability so it's pointless to use to ult them but pretty much everyone you can ult except tanks <coughs> only tank is Peric yeah that's how to use your ult uh, the last thing I want to say is if you want to be really good with EV, then you also need to know what every champion is doing. What are their abilities? So for example, Dian, uh, the powerful ability is her Q. This, it does a lot of damage. So if you see, like, she's Found doing this, cube. like this sound, this kind of sound, then you ice block or. If she's ulting, then you ice block. And then that's this is with every champion. So if you know what are they doing, so then you can you can use your ice block and counter it, block it, so you don't receive any damage. <coughs> so yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to say with Eevee. Uh, the last thing I forgot to say are maps. You can play EV basically everywhere, but my favorite map for EV is Serpent Beach. 
the worst map for EV I would say is fish market, especially if they have snipers or heavy backlines like Lian or Cassie because you can't really flank them here because the map is too long and too big so they will see you they will see you everywhere you go so you can't really flank them there that's the biggest problem if they have this on for example serpent beach there is lots of high ground so you can shoot them from high ground and they can't really kill you you can always hide on high ground or somewhere so yeah that's it I hope you like it and see ya later.